guys, it's your boy Ant. God made 32 on Instagram, and today we back with a teaser trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong, the new empire. And I can't wait to get into this one with you. And yeah, guys, I just love all of these kaiju movies, man. All of these movies have come out in different stages of my life, but no matter where I am, all of these movies always go crazy to me, man. I remember being so disappointed with the 2000 American version of Godzilla. So when they came back with Godzilla 2014 and they did it so spectacularly, it boosted me all the way up to an 11 when it came to the excitement factor of all of these next movies to come. Now we're here with a continuation to this story. I didn't even know we were gonna get a continuation to the story, but I am always here for it. We're gonna see how far they take us, but this is only a teaser trailer, so I can't wait to see what they got in store for us when the full trailer drops. But yeah, guys, if you like what you see in here, please go ahead and do the YouTube things. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Now, without any further ado, let's get it. Oh, shit. That's Kong in there, looking like that. Ooh. That was a teaser trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong, A New Empire, man. And it really didn't give us much at all, man. We didn't even get a sighting of Godzilla at all, except for the little graphic that they had with the Godzilla skull in blue, man. But what I seen from how they have Kong sitting, he looks like he's grown even more since the last time we seen him. He's sitting on a throne with hella bones around him. But I'm not 100% sure how all of these bones got there unless he's just been wreaking havoc in the center of the earth. But how is Godzilla going to play his part in here, man? How are their two stories going to coalesce again? And how is it all going to make sense? And how great is it going to look on the big screen? I already know the answer for that. It's going to look magnificent because the last time they were on the big screen together, it looked magnificent. The story wasn't all that. But there was two giant monsters fighting in Tokyo and Kong was jumping off skyscrapers with a magic axe. Crazy, I love it, that's all I need to see. Hopefully this version of the story doesn't get bogged down with the human characters as it always seems to do. And we get to focus on the monsters and the new world that they're inhabiting a lot more. But regardless of how it goes down, I think I'm gonna find bright spots in this because once they ring that bell and they start going at it, man, that's all I'm here for. But yeah, guys, jump down in the comments and let me know what you think about this, man. Are you a kaiju fan? Like, out of all of these movies that have come out in this series, which one was your favorite? And also, who was you rooting for in Godzilla vs. Kong? And even though Kong got his ass beat multiple times, do you think he's gonna get his lick back in this one, man? He looks like he done grown up some more, and he knows how to wield his axe now, you hear me? But yeah, guys, if you like what you see in here, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps us way more than you know, and it helps us beat the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon. Thank you. All I know is this is about to be crazy.